thing. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we'll call the uh, November 6th uh, meeting of the uh, Board of Appeals to order. And uh, the first case we have on the agenda tonight is uh, case number 1421 uh, on the petition of John Cormier. Is the petitioner here? Okay. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, go through the uh, legal descriptions and then we'll uh, get to it. Uh, okay. The Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing in the Selectman's Meeting Room at the Town Hall, 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts, on Thursday, November 6, 2014, at 7 p.m., on the petition of John Cormier, who seeks a variance under sections 5.0 and 5.1.2 of the zoning bylaws in order to construct an addition, farmer's porch, six feet by 26 feet in the front of the dwelling with a setback of 17.8 feet rather than the required 20 feet on the property located at 22 Elliott Street in Reading, Massachusetts. Unless there is an objection, I will dispense with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters were notified, as were the following. Board of Selectmen, Town Clerk, Police Department, Fire Department, Building Department, Conservation Commission, Health Department, Assessor's Office, Engineering Division, CPDC, members and associate members of the Board of Appeals, as well as the planning boards of Wakefield, Linfield, North Reading, Stoneham, Woburn, and Wilmington. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, testimony given before this board is taken under oath. So if you think you may want to speak tonight, please stand and raise your right hand. And that's the petitioner, too. If you're going to speak, okay, you should stand and, uh, yeah, I'll swear you in. I swear that the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Response is I do. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, the, uh, the floor is yours if you'd like to give us a uh, synopsis of uh, what you're looking to do. Uh, Mr. Board, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody saw the round of emails that went around earlier between myself yes. and uh, town staff, uh, but it seemed to have been the opinion of town staff that the building inspector misquoted the applicant's prayer for relief, mm -hmm. and as such, the posting doesn't meet the building inspector's denial. Okay. And so I am of the opinion, and I think town staff agrees, that unfortunately we're not going to be able to hear this case tonight. Really? Now, I was of, uh, I, I, saw, I saw your uh, memorandum, David, and I was of the opinion, yes, he asked for variance, and it was for frontage, but also he requires a uh, side uh, because the, the encroaches onto the side. Correct. Now, whether that requires the variance or not, I think that's discussion because he isn't increasing. I don't believe he's increasing the uh, nonconformity on the side. But then, on the other hand, too, I believe he is increasing his footprint to increase it over 25 percent. So it's when I looked at it, it looked like it could be two variances and a special permit is required. Uh, I look at it as it was advertised for a variance, which is the worst case scenario, and I thought we could still hear it. Uh, but I would uh, certainly hear other, other members' opinions, and I know John's been on the board for a long time and has gone through this before when something's been advertised one and we had to hear it another way. John? <coughs> well, in the past, um We've had individuals show up who were uh, immediate abutters. Mm -hmm. um, so the immediate abutters would have known that the side lot line was involved in this whole process too. But there doesn't appear to be any any um, mm -hmm. other members of the neighborhood here this evening. Um, and that makes it a, somewhat of a question as to um, which way we should move because if what you really want to do is you want to bring the people out who may have some input into this 
especially in the neighborhood. Especially the ones that impact, Correct. that are impacted. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, but we don't have that this evening, or it doesn't appear that we have that this evening. I mean, I don't see anybody in the audience. Um, the question is, uh, can we move on? Now, I, I do concur with you. Um, this, um, this setback issue on the side yard um, may not be a variance. It may be a special permit, or at least a special permit finding right. that we can move forward on. Right. But I didn't catch the 25%, no. and that is, if, if you, you calculated that out, that is. That's well, I think it's on the plot plan, 26 mm -hmm. point, uh, mm -hmm. I would I have it down, 26.12%, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. which is over yep. the 25% yep. too. So I think that would, you know, just to cover it every all bases, you'd probably want to give a variance on that too. Well, from David. a from a statutory standpoint, the the notice is the application upon which this board would vote. So the notice being, admittedly by the by town staff, uh, defective. Uh, I think that the application. Is something that we would not be allowed to vote on to give the, the applicant complete relief because of the defect in the notice. Mm -hmm. um, that's again, that's my opinion. We just found out about it when I noticed it this afternoon and yeah. mm -hmm. preparing for tonight and reading the building inspector's uh, note. Uh, I did bring it to. Maureen's attention mm -hmm. and she had a discussion with staff and I think we saw her uh, her response at the discussion with her uh, for instance what if we give this at what what if we vote this application down does the applicant then have grounds to bring another application for a variance for the separate issue whether or not it's a variance for the side yard setback or the or the lot coverage area, mm -hmm. so I think we would be denying the applicant full and fair right to access if we acted on this with a defect in the notice. My opinion. Mm -hmm. I, I think that um, David is technically correct. Um, in that, in, in and I don't want to be. Please, under, <laughs> no, please understand. Believe me, we, that. we, we don't like to drag these out. We would much rather hear it tonight. Yeah, um, uh, I would. I would have been much more amenable to be to at least look at it and get it started, open it up tonight, if there were some somebody here from the neighborhood, especially the immediate butter to the uh, yeah. to the north. So once we open yeah. it, we. We, we limit ourselves in terms of time. Yeah. So if there are further extensions, um, we would have possibly yeah. a problem mm -hmm. with it too. So we do that. Now, Kathleen, do you have any opinion I on this? I think I would agree with David, you yeah. Would. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sai? I think, you know, you got three things now. You got. Uh, he needs a variance on the frontage. He needs a variance on the lot coverage, which isn't anywhere in this application either. Yeah, and uh, I mean, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for the frontage, I mean, the uh, lot size. I mean, I could rationalize my way into saying, okay, I mean, the side setback is twelve nine. It's going to stay twelve nine. It almost goes inherently yeah. with the front with yeah. the farmer's porch. Okay, the fact you're extending it, but you're ex you're extending mm -hmm. an existing nonconformity. Yeah. So, to me, the cleanest way to do it would be to not address it tonight and then come back and, make, and pick up all town, those town pieces and let's it, look it, at it as one well right. one fell swoop because because the town made the that makes it nice and clean for him it makes it clean for everybody okay and we're complying with the with the rules of the game you keep in mind that the, the i mean to david's point if we act on it tonight and grant him the variance or don't grant him the variance it would have to be re-advertised it's going to be re-advertised but can he come back and ask for that variance on the frontage in the future or does he have to wait a period of time I mean, you could ask for a variance on the side. You could ask for a variance on the lot size. But can you come back and ask for a, a second shot at the variance on the front? I don't know. What's the answer yeah. to that? Uh, what you're asking for, I think, what David is asking for, is to um, not hear this, have it re-advertised, get it done correctly, so that this, in essence, 
even though we started, we really haven't heard the case. No, we haven't heard Correct. the case. So we haven't moved Correct. forward to officially opening it Correct. other than what was advertised and the board made a decision for what to do. Right. 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 Eric, do you have uh, a thoughts on this? Oh, I, I think the, the smart move is to just, just re-advertise and yeah. deal with it all at once. Okay. Okay. I think it's in your best interest to do it that way, too. Uh, yeah, I don't know uh, what the petitioner's schedule was to go or go ahead and, uh, you know, think you could start construction this winter on this, or were you planning on starting in the spring anyway? Yeah, the house done, uh, just waiting for the Yeah, yeah. Well, as you see, we, you know, we see this and brought up by a member that, uh, you know, was advertised wrong, and obviously it, it appears to me when I looked at it, that you needed three things. You needed a variance on your front, you needed a variance on your footprint of the building, it takes up more than 25% of the lot area with the, with the thing. And then you're also extending that front porch that you're looking to do, the proposed porch, into the side yard setback, not any more than what you already are, right. but it is into the side yard setback, less than 15 feet, that portion of it would most likely require a special permit if we were to do it correctly. Uh, so, uh, so what do I go from here? Do I go back and talk to Glenn? Uh, we will have to talk to Glenn and have it re-advertised and put on the agenda. Uh, it looks now we, could, let's see. The December one. 6th. Yeah, we might have to be able to get it done by December 6th then if we do it that way. Right. <coughs> so I think as a matter of Procedure, yeah, we should entertain a motion to with, withdraw the present case to allow him to go back and start essentially from, from scratch with the re advertisement okay. and yeah, uh, re application. Essentially, I, I don't believe it's, I don't think it's anything fee wise that you're going to have to start from scratch with. I think you're just going to, it's, it's when the we go back and talk thing. to right. Glenn and to the town, we're going to explain to them what we think you need. And they're going to amend the publication, the notice in your application so that it covers the entire application that you're seeking. So we can hear it, it can be published correctly, the right people can be notified, and that way nobody has any question as to whether or not the process was handled correctly. Most, most certainly yourself. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay, well that it sounds and the, the petitioner sounds uh, agreeable to the, this uh, uh, recommendation. Uh, uh, yeah. So you think we need a withdrawal from the petitioner think so. to withdraw this particular case, and then we will re-advertise the amended, you might say, the amendment to case 1421, and hopefully we'll get that done uh, for in time for the uh, December 6th. Okay, so if you can make, can you make a formal uh, request to withdraw this case and we will prepare an amendment to it? Okay. So be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do, I, do I hear a motion from a board member on that? I'll move to accept the petitioner's application to withdraw to amend. Okay, second? Second. Second, mm -hmm. second from Kathleen. All those in favor? Am I voting today? Hmm? Am I voting today? Uh, no, I, I think it's just the five of us. Yeah, five here. Five zero zero. Yep. Okay, so we will go ahead and prepare this. <coughs> and David, I'm going to have to ask you then, can you uh, follow up on this since I won't be around for the yeah, uh, next couple fine. weeks? Glenn's on vacation yeah. for a week, but of course he is. It's hunting yeah. season. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, but I'll follow up with town staff yeah. and, um, and, and move it forward for you. Great. Thank and, you very much. You, you saw what I was getting. If you want, I can leave you my notes on it, but uh, you, you saw what I was getting at when I talked about uh, the special permit might yes, be required for I the side, moved. the front, and then also for lot coverage. Yeah. yeah. So that's what it appeared to me, yeah. Okay, okay thank, thank you, you so much, much, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Sorry. Okay, let me... Uh, I just want to get it right, though. Write a little note yeah. on this.
Bob, Bob, if you think I need anything mm -hmm. uh, from your file in order to move that forward, I'm happy to, to take it. Yeah, no, those are the three biggest things. I had, you know, some other issues there, <coughs> too, but... Uh, that's fine. case we have on the agenda tonight like one, okay. is a I'm going to recuse myself from this okay mm -hmm. Kathleen's going to recuse yeah. herself from I this don't one think there's not anything after yeah. this there's nothing on after that right no there okay. is not okay. nope so you very good okay. thank you thank you wow you got off easy <laughs> <laughs> do we need to write anything up on that withdrawal on the withdrawal I don't I think know what I would do in that particular case, I think, is just maybe when we write up the final decision for the case, and I'm assuming we're not going to change the case number. Yeah, <laughs> I think you would, right? Yeah. I, think, okay. I think they're probably going to. Then but we're going to have to write something we're up. We're going to have to close just this a one. Simple statement. Just a simple statement. Just a one, like a, you know. Yeah. All right. Just a simple I'll paragraph. Thank right. you. I'll write it yeah, up. Yeah, a simple paragraph saying, yep. kind We've of done explaining it what we did because. Why we, did we have to expand right. just so they can put it in the file right more likely yeah you know. okay okay uh, next case is a continuation of case number uh, 1420 uh, I see the petitioner is here I don't believe I have to read the legal notice to go through everything again uh, since this is just a continuation and we will reopen the case uh, in this particular one, I believe we were looking for additional information, a new plot plan. Yes. And we did get that from the uh, uh, surveyor. And uh, I think we got uh, some additional information too, letters of support on that. Yeah. Uh, would you care to uh, take the floor then? I'm, I'm without Jack Sullivan this evening. He had a conflict that he had to Basically, as you correct, correctly pointed out, at the end of the last meeting, there were some changes to the structure by the engineer, and there was um, a small difference at the back. Uh, and so Jack Sullivan uh, remeasured everything. So we're actually at the back of the garage with uh, two point two feet more, I think. I think the, the last time I was here, I think we were um, Right, right. The uh, front ten, corner ten feet from the bar. The tool shed there, they yeah. call it. And then, uh, well, the closest point now is eleven point two feet. Yes. And it was ten point three right. before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we, that, that is uh, shifted a bit, and you gained almost another foot there. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, and I believe there was a uh, yeah uh, better with that. Uh, any questions uh, from board members on this? Eric, I will start with you tonight on this one. He did view the D video. Oh, yeah. No, oh, he uh, did the video. The okay. Let me submit this to you. Okay. This, uh, certification for to General Laws. Right. Chapter 31, Section 23D. Uh, we'll where that I certify in the that I have viewed the evidence related to this case. And, okay. And Thank thereby you. competent to comment on it. We will uh, put that in the file. Okay. Case file. So in reviewing um, what had happened at the, at the last meeting here, um, I, I see that uh, you have submitted this revised plot plan here with um, reduced dimensions uh, in keeping with the, where the board was 
where we was going with that uh, the last time. I think that uh, I note that you had 32 feet. Um, it was uh, 26 by 32 feet. It is now 26 by 25 feet. Um, also, in the back here, you've reduced it. Uh, looks like um, even further. Um, mm. So now we've got 12.2 uh, uh, in the back uh, left corner there. So, oh dear. <laughs> Incoming call. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so I mean, I, I have no further comment other than to note that uh, don't you, answer. You tried to comply with with what the board was looking for. So. Well, okay. Uh, it might be your wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we went through this quite a, pretty well on the last one, and I, yes, I, yeah, my comment right. then, and I'll say it again, is I thought <clears throat> Petitioner did a heck of a job thinking this whole thing through and coming up with what he did, and uh, I think it fits the neighborhood very well. Uh, I have no problem with it whatsoever, and uh, the plot plan now makes things a little better than they were before, so I don't have any further questions. John? <clears throat> well, I, mean, I, I see the changes that, was, that were made. Um, the basic change that I see is that the, um, the storage area in back of the uh, garage uh, has been moved uh, to the side, so you picked up another um, roughly two feet. Um, the corner of the garage appears to be the same as it was before. Uh, which is about 11.2 feet, which is what I had calculated out before. So that hasn't moved. Um, uh, the 14.7, which is the front side of the garage, uh, hasn't moved either. That's that the same. Change, yeah. So um, I think the biggest thing that came out of our, our discussion, uh, perhaps last week, was number one, um, there appears to be um, some justification um, in what the applicant is trying to to uh, accomplish. Uh, he does have a significant um, personal involvement um, with uh, the need for this. Um, and then the other issue was the correction that we needed on the certified plot plan to verify exactly where we were at. So I think uh, that has, has now been accomplished. Yeah. David? Uh, nothing for me. Nothing for you. Okay. Yeah, we, we covered it pretty well last time. Yeah, I think we, I think we did. And we were just looking to, uh, uh, I think the last time uh, we discussed it quite a bit. And uh, number one, as we get towards the end there, we would wanted to uh, get the plot plan to uh, agree with what the architectural plan had shown there in regards to the tool, tool, tool shed there in the back, the tool area. Uh, I don't have any particular issues with it. I look at the four criteria that's required, and I, I certainly think his uh, lot here is certainly encumbered by the wetlands there. It looks, it looks to me it's almost like he loses half the use of his lot due to, due to the uh, uh, wetlands in the back there yeah, on that. Maybe not a half, but a third of his lot anyway there. And, uh, the, you see the uh, no structure zone in the back, which extends quite a bit, almost up to the back of his house. Uh, and hardships. Uh, I, 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 I think certainly he could meet all five, five, four criteria of, of the variance on that, my personal opinion. Uh, if there's no further discussion by board members, I would entertain a motion then on this case. Well, I started to do one last time, so okay. I'll, I'll finish it up. Uh, <clears throat> I would move to grant the petitioner a uh, variance under sections 5 and 512 of the zoning bylaw to add a two-car garage to the left side of the structure with a proposed side setback of 11.2 feet rather than the required 15 foot bylaw requirement on the property located at 31 Curtis Street in Reading in accordance with 
plot plan of land prepared and certified by John Sullivan, by Sullivan Engineering Group, dated October 17, uh, 2014. And I think there's a couple of architectural drawings too. Uh, uh, A3, A1 through 3, dated September 2nd, which we should make reference to. Right. By uh, Stephen uh, Bazak? Baz yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. I think that's all we need to add, right? Do we need to call out the 14.7 foot dimension in this variance as well? Uh, well yeah. I, I think if we make reference to the plot plan, that covers it. That covers it all. Uh, usually, we tend to make reference to the minimal the worst case. setback, okay. uh, yeah. which is the 11.2 yeah. in this case. Yeah. yeah. I think that was the only thing that Cy was missing. Was the, was the minimum? Uh, the setback as shown okay. on the plot right. plan, 11.2 right. feet. We'll add that. So minimum. if you could amend that, then and just okay. note uh, the setback as shown on the plot plan okay. of 11.2 feet. Okay. Uh, that's it. Do I hear a second? Second. Second from Eric. Uh, all those in favor of the motion? Any further discussion, I guess? No further discussion? All those in favor of the motion? Raise your hand. All those opposed? Nobody. Uh, let the record show 500 on that. You have uh, your variance. That'll be written up. We have 14 days to write that up and submit that to the town clerk then that'll be recorded at the Registry of Deeds. And you should be all set then after that, hopefully. Okay, Cy, will you write that up then? I will, and I'll send it to you. If you would. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, let me, uh, i get some plans here. Let me stamp these plans, I almost forgot. And uh, we'll give you a copy of that, and then I'll stamp the other ones, and you'll have a record of uh, what we granted tonight. Oh, this one's empty, too. Okay. Very good for your record on that one there. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. And well, let me do these here.
don't believe we have any other business tonight. Anybody have any thoughts or like to bring anything up? If not, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Second. All those in favor? Very good. Thank you. Thank you.